The whole idea is to trick the fish. The fly imitates an aquatic insect or tiny fish, something the fish you're trying to catch likes to eat. The fly maker starts by placing a hook in a vise. Using a tool called a bobbin holder, he winds a wax nylon thread carefully and tightly around the shank of the hook, then cuts off the excess. This fly will simulate a moth-like insect called a caddis, a primary food for trout. A caddis in the pupil stage of its life cycle, just before it transforms into an adult. The fly maker first attaches a special synthetic yarn to create the tail. He secures it along the middle of the hook. He then takes another synthetic material called dubbing to create the body. He spins the dubbing between his fingers onto the thread. The wax on the thread helps it adhere. He winds the dubbing over the base of yarn to form the body. Then he folds some yarn over the dubbing and attaches it with more nylon thread. Then he cuts off the excess. Good fishing flies not only look like the real thing, they also act like it, mimicking the insect's natural movements. When a caddis pupa is ready to transform into an adult, it swims to the surface of the water, then deploys its wings. The shimmering yarn on this fake caddis will give the illusion of the air bubbles this voyage to the surface creates. To simulate the wings, the fly maker uses dubbing made of deer fur. He cuts off the long, coarse hairs known as guard hairs. Then places them into a device called a hair stacker. He shakes it, turns it to the side, then opens it up. All the hairs are now evenly aligned. He measures the length he needs to create the fly's wings. Then he attaches it, leaving a portion sticking out in the front to form the insect's head. Next, he uses a tool called a whip finisher to tie a sturdy knot made of several loops. This caddisfly imposter is now ready to trick some trout. There are thousands of styles of flies. You choose which to use according to what the fish are feeding on at the moment. Fly makers use many types of natural and synthetic dubbings to form and decorate their flies. Feathers, animal hairs, metals and plastics often dyed brilliant colors. Tying a great fly won't always snag you the catch of the day, but if you maneuver the fly to make realistic movements in the water, the fish will buy it, hook, line and sinker. <laughs>